Sometimes it's all about size. And when size matters, you have several different options of picking that perfect size for printing out your photos. Let's go over a couple of those. First, let's make sure we've got the paper in the printer. Just pull out the paper tray and you'll see that there's a couple different levels that you can put different sizes of paper in. The top tray holds two different sizes for standard size photo paper. I have here 4x6 paper. It'll also support 5x7. So how do you adjust for the smaller size? Let me show you. Make sure that you put the glossy side down. This is the side that the printer is going to print on. And then take the sliders to make sure that it's a snug fit, but not too tight. Flip the top tray up, and now you're ready to load in some larger papers down below. I have here some 8.5 by 11 premium photo paper glossy. Make sure again to put the glossy side down. Once you have it placed, go ahead and move those sliders again to make sure you've got a snug fit, but not too tight. Then flip the top tray down and put the tray back into the Epson Artisan. Be sure to pull out this top tray, that way your prints have a place to land. Now let's move over to the computer to see how we might get it some different sizes by printing from there. In this case, I know we've got the 4 by 6 and the 8 and a half by 11. Well, let's start off seeing what this is going to look like just as a more normal size photo and select the 4 by 6. I've got the properties box here for the Epson Artisan, and in here I can make a series of selections to make sure that we're printing the best possible photo we can. At this point, I can get it with borders or borderless. I kind of tend to enjoy the borderless feature, so let's go with that. The other place you're going to want to visit is Page Layout. And this allows you to adjust the amount of enlargement when you select borderless. I'm going to go with minimum. Once you're all set and ready to go, hit OK. Ta-da! A fabulous print with a few easy clicks of the mouse. But now let's cut the computer out of the equation and work directly with the Epson Artisan's touchscreen interface. This is fun. One day in the future, the printer is automatically going to know exactly what you want and print it out for you. Well, until that day arrives, there's a handy little touch screen for you to be able to make the selections for the options that you want to print. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to start by pressing the menu button. And here I'm going to select print settings. And I've got 8 and a half, 11 paper in there. So let's select that as our paper size. We've got premium glossy paper, the borderless is on, and quality is set to best. Well, we're ready to start printing now at 8.5 by 11, so all I have to do is press start. 8.5 by 11, looking beautiful. And I think we can all agree that's a very different size, so resizing your image is really quite simple. But we're not done yet. All right, let's select Photos, and then let's move over to Photo Layout Sheet. Here we can select many different options of different sizes and different layouts. The one I'm going to go with is Picture Package, and this is going to give us a variety of different sizes. Select the photo you want to use and press OK. Here's an example of what your layout is going to look like. Press start when you're ready to go. Wow, just like that, we've got even more sizes to choose from. I mean, look at all the options. It's pretty amazing. So just like that, with the size options on the Epson Artisan, you've got a whole new world of photography opening up to you.
other projects that I've worked on time and again, there's so many different size options. The possibilities are practically endless. So now you've seen how easy it is to create different photo sizes using the papers that are available to you on the Epson Artisan. And with a simple touchscreen navigation, you can unlock the full potential of those papers. So have fun with it. I know I am. Epson, exceed your vision.